we have got to try to pull our lives together a little bit after surgery and being sick and still struggling with some energy issues, which I'm sure you're so sick of hearing me talk about, but that's where we are and that's what we need to get trying to tackle. So yes, it's the end of the week, but we're going to try as hard as we can to pull it together a little bit and tackle some much needed tasks here around the house. So I've got a nice hot cup of coffee. Come and join me. Let's try to make this a productive day. Ready? Let's go. completely wrapped up with doctor's appointments, my husband's surgery, and all kinds of crazy stuff that we had going on. So here we are now, the end of May. We have co-op starting next week. So I got my kids signed up and I think I have everything we need for co-op. If you guys haven't joined us for that already, check out this link up here for co-op. Hi, Jack. Travis, Jack would like in your room, please. Um, and so we're trying to get that going. There's so much that needs my attention that I'm so behind on from literally being sick and doing COVID for the past month that um, I'm very behind. I was kind of already behind when we went into the past couple months and now I'm a couple months more behind than, than I was. So that's where we're at. That's okay. We're, we're dealing with it. But it means today is kind of cold and rainy and the stuff that needs to be done outdoors is clearly not going to be happening. I need to focus a little bit of attention inside. I'm trying to get doing a little bit so I can start building back up my energy, but still noticing when it's like, okay, enough's enough. I need to go take a nap. So today we're sitting here looking at it and guys, I have not cleaned my house at all in three weeks. I think we actually cleared off the counters the other day. I did clean our bathrooms a little bit because I was so grossed out at one point, but my house has been largely ignored for three weeks. Um, I have, while we've been sick, I have let my robotic vacuum run each night. That's just scheduled, it does it itself, that runs. So at least we have that going for us. And I have tried to still do a load of laundry a day ish. It hasn't been every day, but we have tried to do laundry. That doesn't mean the laundry's gotten put away. It just means that at least somewhere in the house, there's a clean pile of laundry that we have something we can put on. 
Also, my daughter has been a rock star and kept up on running the dishwasher every evening. So minus those few things, nothing in our house has been taken care of in a month. I mean, it just, it really hasn't. So that's where we're at. I'm trying to work on garden plans. I've got my Heavenly Minded Home Planner here. I'm trying to get homeschool stuff, co-op stuff, appointment stuff, things that have to be taken care of. I'm trying to get all of those written down so I don't forget anything. I'm working on some fun garden stuff that we'll talk about later. And then I pulled out my little whiteboard of like, okay, what are the tasks that if they don't get done today, I'm gonna scream because it's just awful and I'm such a bad homemaker right now and we've got to tackle this stuff. So that's what I want to try to at least like pull together. I'm trying to drink some coffee. Um, I probably should eat something, but guys, I lost my appetite and my like taste three weeks ago, four weeks ago now, and uh, it hasn't come back at all. So I'm really struggling to like force myself to eat stuff. Um, but I need to try to tackle some of this. So I figured today, the girls' room is disgusting. I mean, there's just toys and laundry and bedding. I mean, I just stuff kind of everywhere. Our house is kind of just general disarray. Um, I have some really fun stuff I want to talk about as far as just, you know, I've talked so much about just a lovely life and romanticizing life and so much that I want to dig into there because in the past few weeks of being sick, it's just been on my mind, on my heart so much as we've been talking as a family and different things. And so there's a lot that needs to be done in that area, but I feel like before I can even get into the fun stuff of like simplifying our home and taking care of these things that I'm really excited for, I feel like I need to get kind of like a general tidying done before we can dig into the fun stuff. Because right now my house is crazy. It's just, I mean, everywhere I look, there's just weeks of we've been sick, nothing's been addressed everywhere. So I feel like today if we get kind of a general tidying done, I'm not talking deep cleaning, I'm not talking deep decluttering, I'm, I'm just talking like some semblance of level. That's what we're going for today. If I can make that happen today, I think going into next week, Lord willing, this energy starts building back up maybe we can tackle some fun stuff around here. That's my goal. So I've got Lily is in their bedroom. The girls share a bedroom. So she's in there deep cleaning. She's like kicked everybody out. She's stripping all the beds, gathering all the random laundry, even stuff that was clean and just got shoved on top of a dresser versus being put into a dresser. And now it's like fallen on the floor and what I, I'm like, just throw it all in here. I am going to run the washer all day long today. We are going to do so much laundry today, but that's a good thing. It means it's getting done. So she's getting their room cleared out. Um, we're going to gather all the blankets. We have so many blankets on the couches from just being sick. My husband and I are still sleeping on the couch most nights. Um, he had kidney surgery and laying flat in the bed still is really painful for him. So we go do a couple nights in on the bed so that way my back feels better. Um, and then we come out here and we're sleeping on the couches. So we've got blankets all over the couches that just need to be washed. Um, they're getting all of their bedding stripped. I just did ours, so ours is okay. I'm gonna get all of that stuff washed. Then I want to go from room to room and do the very minimal, like three wave pass that I usually try to do in each room. So that's where I go to each room. I go in a clockwise rotation. I work from top to bottom and I do three different rounds. One round is just get the things out that don't belong there. Walk around with a basket that doesn't belong in that room, throw it in the basket, right? The second thing then is to clean the vertical surfaces, right? In horror, yeah, vertical surfaces. So go through, kind of clean up anything that needs to be wiped up, tidied up, cleaned up, take care of that, and then do the horizontal surfaces. So tables, couches, floors, whatever work from top to bottom, work yourself around the room in a clockwise rotation, get that space at least back to ready a little bit. So at least for our living room, our kitchen dining room space and bathrooms, bedrooms-ish, um, I wanna try to tackle that today. And I know this is probably a bad idea because it's rainy outside. I have not mopped our floors in weeks and 
I love mopping our floors. I have an amazing, I have a dog choking over here. You okay, Lois? Too much water? Okay. Um, I have an amazing vacuum mop that I love so much and it's honestly just a clean floor to me it makes a huge impact. So even if it means muddy paws, because we have 8 million animals are gonna come running through it right after, I don't even care. To, to take some time and just mop the floors, to me, makes me say our house is clean. And so what are those things, right, that really impact you and make you feel, I've done it, I've tidied it. Clear counters and clean floors. To me, like if those two things are done, I feel better. So. Those are big areas that I like to focus on when I'm trying to tidy up and kind of reset the house because to me, those have a big impact. So I'm gonna finish this coffee. I'm gonna not get sucked into it, but finish a little bit of this like paperwork I'm doing here and then um, start with the living room. I usually always start with the living room because it's usually always the easiest room. So then I feel like, go me, I've done it. Um, go through there, start tidying up a little bit. And uh, it, even if I've burnt out all my energy in a couple hours time, I at least can be back on the couch resting with a clean blanket and feeling like I did something today. I did accomplish something. Even if it wasn't much, it was something. So um, that's the goal. That's the plan. We can do it friends, we can do it. We can get it back together. Maybe maybe you're good and you've been on fire and getting all kinds of great stuff done and good for you. Maybe you've been like me and you've been sick and struggling and totally behind. So today we're gonna do it. We're gonna feel like we accomplished something and then we'll be ready for a really awesome nap this afternoon, okay? We can do it.
of trying to clean up that somebody dropped the ball and never put in a grocery order yesterday like I was supposed to. And so that means we don't have food and we don't have the things that we need. You guys, I'm telling you this, like not having an appetite is so awful because everybody else in the house is like feeling better and would like to, you know, have food throughout the day. And then there's me who wants nothing. And the trash people left us mail out in the rain. Seriously? So our trash people leave us our bill each month, like just in an envelope <laughs> that they usually set like in our mailbox, but they left it outside. And so this is my, I guess I gotta dry that so I can pay it. Anyways, um, we're getting stuff done. The living room is done. 
Um, Lily did amazing and got their room super clean. Um, we're washing all of the bedding right now, all of the blankets, and then today's load of laundry. So we're just still like, every time a load finishes, my son puts the wet stuff into the dryer, brings the dry stuff up, my daughter separates, Virginia separates everything, and then everybody's got their laundry. So at least we're getting like the laundry done and um, it's raining even harder. Um, laundry's getting done. Living room is clean. I like even dusted a bit. The floors were so gross. This is what happens. My husband came in. I was like, honey, guess what happens when you don't mop for a good three weeks? And he was like, what? And I was like, your floors are really disgusting. <laughs> we moved the couches. Guy got underneath those. I love my vacuum mop because at least it like does it all in one. I don't have to like sweep and then mop. I can just like knock it all out. Um, so I'm going to run to the grocery store, get some groceries so that people can consume food because apparently that's the thing some of us want to do. And then, um, and then um, the kids are going to help me. We already talked about it before I walked out the door. They're going to help me. We're going to get the counters cleared, stuff put away. Crazy, I know. And then I can at least like wipe down the counters and run them off in the kitchen. So at least that'll be done. So did I deep clean? No. Did I get every room? No. Don't think bathrooms are gonna happen. Don't think anything else is gonna happen today. I think this is gonna be it. I'm gonna do this and I'm kind of toast. Like I'm exhausted myself, um, which I feel is pathetic, but hey, it's where I'm at. Um, I did not even clean like my desk there's all kinds of stuff over there that's just stuff that's been piling up that I need to get dealt with at some point in time that point in time just isn't going to be today it just it's not so um that's all kind of just sitting there there's little nooks and crannies and places where there's stuff and it's just gonna have to sit for a minute I cannot see anything so that's just gonna have to be what that is but got stuff at least put away tidied up a little bit I'm going to get the kitchen and dining room space at least tidied a little bit um, and at least it's again that like somewhat getting back to a level playing field so as we you know continue to feel better and start co-op classes next week and do all of the stuff at least we're like not completely drowning is the goal that's what we're going for here so thank you guys for hanging out with me today for this like less than stellar uh home kind of reset a room and a half maybe two um that's about all we're gonna get to today so it is what it is right we'll get there there's always tomorrow I'm ready to go home, let the hubby make some food for the kids and him, and then we can all just kind of cozy up, curl up, enjoy the rain, and take a nap. Because <laughs> I think I need it today. So anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. If y'all want something else to watch that maybe a little more exciting, you guys check out this video up here. We'll go ahead and get something awesome for you all there. If you want to subscribe and tap that little bell notification so that way you see our videos when they come out each and every day. I'm going to get some groceries. I'm going to finish some cleaning. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.